League Park was a state-of-the-art ballpark. When it was built in, in opened up in 1891, the grandstand held about 9,000 people, which was very adequate. It was built into a neighborhood, and they couldn't acquire all the land, so right field was kind of like almost indented. The fences were 290 feet because they couldn't go any further back. Even when they refurbished the stadium, they, had to, they built a 40-foot wall to try and cut down on the home runs. Babe Ruth hit a ton of homers there because he could just he could hit a ball four or five hundred feet. So to get it, all he had to do was get it forty feet up in the air over two hundred ninety feet, and it was gone. Lou Gehrig hit a lot of home runs there too. Ruth hit his five hundredth home run at League Park, which was monumental. The owner uh, Frank DeHaas Robeson, who owned a lot of streetcar lines, and he happened to own the lines, the Payne and Superior, that intersected right at sixty six in Lexington. So he wanted his park right where his streetcar lines could drop people off. So you would pay to ride the streetcar, get off by the ticket window, and pay to go to League Park, and he collects double. This was the, I guess, the ultimate location. was the perfect spot. I think the lines intersected 20 feet from where he built the ticket window. He even built luxury boxes for 120 people. So the wealthy had these boxes that they could stay away from the common folk, so they, they'd be a little different section. Generally, I think tickets would be 25 cents to maybe a buck tops at that point. So it wasn't very expensive for, for people to go to. But again, if you were a working man and uh, you had a family, it was pretty tough to, uh, to buy four, spend a buck and a quarter to go to a ball game, plus the streetcar fare. You have to remember, League Park was in existence at the same time Cleveland Stadium was, and they'd go back and forth. The intimacy of the game of baseball, Monday through Friday, they'd play at League Park. And then when they have Sunday double headers where 70,000 people would show up, Obviously, they moved into Cleveland Stadium. Then League Park ended up getting being old and not available, and the fact that more people were interested, the team was getting better, and they chose to move into Cleveland Stadium on a um, permanent basis in the late 40s.